we have confidence. See, verses 19 and 20, brothers and sisters, therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus. Confidence. The believer is given by God a tremendous welcome. Now, I know that's hard to take, isn't it? You know, because we come from this sort of Protestant guilt sort of thing. Um, uh, no, to put that to one side. We've got a tremendous welcome from Jesus. Come in. There's now a sign over the holiest presence of God, which could be forbidding and foreboding, right? And it says, welcome. Come to me, you who labour on a heavy laden. I'll give you rest. Welcome. In chapter 10, verse 19, and there it is on the wall, the believer is invited to do something that under the old religion, only the high priest in Israel was invited to do. He could only do it once a year. He could only do it after a laborious ritual and washing and slaughter and all the rest of it. And they were always watching to see if he came out again because they didn't know if it would quite work. And because of the blood of Christ, we have confidence to enter the sanctuary by the blood of Jesus. Day in, day out, every believer has access to the presence of God. How's that? That's great, isn't it? Confidence about it. Confidence to enter the sanctuary. That, therefore, points back to the supremacy, the so much betterness of what Christ did at Calvary. And the first, of, first effect of that, the first promise of what Hebrews is going to say, is that the better sacrifice of Christ gives direct access to God. Not just for one elite high priest, not only at one time a year, and it's dead risky, but every believer at any time in person, which is actually quite a lot better. We have confidence to enter God's inner sanctum every moment of every day. And the point is, be encouraged!